Hi, my name is Ranjin Kim, and I'm going to do another video um, with uh, basically articulating some thoughts I've had about feminism and uh, the criticisms about feminism and uh, my particular vision for what I call genders united against sexism. Um, I want to start by saying that uh, in terms of rights um, in, in, and gender, um, that uh, feminism, were, uh, women's rights, uh, if you prefer, was uh, very much required uh, in the past, uh, in, in the West, for um, basically uh, women being treated equally to men, um, because before they weren't. Um, and so there's a very real issue there. There's still an issue around the world uh, with regards to women's rights, and um, this is why feminism was and is needed. Um, there's, but when, but these days in the West, I think in terms of actual rights, in terms of actual legal oppression, in in, in terms of those overt forms of oppression, I think that men and women are, or there are some small areas affecting women, and there's some small areas affecting men where there's still some uh, inequalities involved. But generally speaking, in terms of legal rights, uh, men and women are equals in the West at the moment. Um, However, in terms of attitudes and in terms of harassment, uh, there are still massive problems that face women uh, spe specifically. See, I don't like it when people claim that there's no such thing as rape culture. Uh, I think sometimes they misunderstand what the term means. Uh, but there is, and I've observed it, a culture amongst men, probably only some men, I suppose, but it is quite widespread culture amongst a lot of, of men particularly young men, who, who see, who talk about women with each other as if women aren't even people, as if they're conquests. And there's just a kind of competition amongst men sometimes to, to pull uh, women. And uh, I can see how this may be a rape-enabling attitude. Um, there are other things in culture that are rape-enabling as well, like the whole um, playing hard to get, the whole a woman might say no when she really means yes kind of thing. It, it does exist. Um, and I don't really... I think it's rather phony uh, when uh, men's rights activists want to dispute this, this very obviously true uh, concept that there is this thing. It's not a culture that approves of rape, it's a culture that has various toxic attitudes towards uh, sex and towards the female gender that are rape enabling. Um, so that is a very real issue, as is the harassment uh, that women face. Uh, so there are still issues there. That, and, and there's this thing about um, judging women on their looks rather than their other gifts. Though, again, it's not everyone that has these attitudes, but these attitudes exist in society and they need challenging because they're wrong. And that's why feminism, even in the West today, is still very much needed. However, there is a wider issue. Um, in this day and age where men and women, legally speaking, are equals, there are some issues with regards to gender that affect men and women and uh, people who are non-binary and their identity equally badly, uh, possibly more badly for non-binary people, which is regards to stereotypes. There are negative stereotypes about women, there are negative stereotypes about men too, and there uh, are various pressures uh, for men and women to be a particular way and these are big problems and uh, nobody experiences quite how big a problem it is more than people who are transgender in whatever way uh, including those who have a binary gender but that doesn't fit their, fit their you know, birth uh, assigned gender at birth uh, and and those who are non-binary in their gender identity uh, um, and even in terms of wishing to express your gender in ways which society deems uh, inappropriate for your uh, birth gender. Um, so all manner of transgender manifestations uh, feel this particularly acutely, but I think all men and women do feel uh, acutely this, this problem of these sexist attitudes and these expectations for men to be a certain way, for women to be a certain way, and uh, the negative stereotypes uh, that, that uh, still get perpetuated in society um, about men and about women. And um, so I really do think that although although feminism and women's rights is, at least in its more reasonable uh, and sex-positive forms, 
it is something I would ally myself with and is still very required and important in society and uh, although and of course trans rights are very uh, dear to my heart and are very important uh, are very important as well and would indeed I would ally myself with um, that nevertheless I think there's a need for a, another movement um, to address sexism as it affects people of all genders and uh, so I want to propose <laughs> Uh, what I like to call Genders United Against Sexism, a united movement of men and women and non-binary individuals fighting sexism in society in whatever form it might manifest, uh, so that people can be free to be themselves uh, and not be negatively stereotyped, not be forced into stereotyped kind of roles and, and, and all this other sexist nonsense that happens in society. It needs challenging, it needs questioning, it needs critiquing, and I think the time has gone really where it's just a women's issue, it's everyone, women, men, and non-binary individuals. And so I would propose such a positive movement. Let's do something positive, let's all join together and do something positive, and let's challenge sexism in whatever form it exists and whoever it affects together as a united movement. That is what I would propose. I'm not uh, naturally uh, an activist, <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm not very good at organising things or, or working out what to do in practical terms about these things. I'm more of an ideas person, but that's my idea. I'm floating it out there, and uh, join me. Let's do something positive. <laughs> Let's collaborate and figure out what we can do together as a united movement, men, women, and non-binary individuals, challenging sexism, genders united against sexism. Thanks for watching.